There is a magical operation of maximum importance. The initiation of a new Aeon. When it becomes necessary to utter a word, the whole planet must be bathed in blood. for my eternity of suffering. Welp! As if you knew what eternity was. Grovel before your true master! Never. I'll hack you from crotch to gizzard and feed what's left to your brides. Court of King Otmar, shades of my former existence, proud and self-absorbed, surrounded by all the finery of the realm, secure in their ignorance. As I walked among them, I smirked, thinking of the carnage that would befall them at the hands of the legions of the Nemesis, the glorious flames, and the inevitable rape and pillage. Out of my way, peasant! The stench of the fields hangs over you like a pall. The king sees no one. He is in mourning for the princess. He'll be in mourning for his kingdom soon. And he'll mourn for you even sooner if you don't get out of my way. Ooh! And so I won my audience, such as it was, with Otmar. He cared not for the invading armies from the north, only of the plight of his child. Her birthday present. To celebrate her birthday, I declared a contest. Whoever created the finest doll in the realm would be granted a royal favor. Hundreds of dolls were brought, but the winner was obvious. Elzevir the doll maker created a toy of such beauty that all were captivated by it. And all he would take in payment was a lock of her hair. Soon after, she became like this. A lifeless puppet. 
whoever restores her to her former self shall have this kingdom. Thus, my hunt for the Dollmaker began. The scourge of Nosgoth is upon us, friends. We shall die today as heroes, lest we live tomorrow as slaves. Ready thine arms for Nosgoth! Would you stand idle as vermin destroy your crops? No! Does your house burn? No! Will you allow this evil to continue? No! Will the wickedness end? Yes! Do you believe? Yes! yes! Then take me to your king so that I can prepare you for the onslaught. Ironic. By going back in time and altering the past, you turn William the Just into the nemesis. I, you have seen my plan, vampire, as I have seen your destiny. The future says you die. But I am dead. As are you. You betrayed us, Mortanius. You had Cain killed and turned him into a monster. You set him upon us. It had to be. Napraptor's insanity poisoned all of our minds. The Circle had failed in its sworn duties. It had to be destroyed. Failed our duties? Idiot! The Circle exists for us. We don't exist for it. Our powers will save or damn Nosgoth at our whim. Stand with us, Mortanius, or die. Then I shall die. The circle is to be destroyed. You have to die as well, Necromancer. I admire your cunning, but you will not escape your fate. Nay, I will embrace it, but my death will leave one more to take Princeling. Finish me! <laughs> you thought yourself a king. But in fact, you are a pawn. You have served me well, Cain. <laughs> I serve no one. Indeed. Such narrow vision. Don't you see? 
My silencing of Ariel and its calculated repercussions is but the first act in my theater of Grand Guignol, of which you are the tragic hero. Play on, little vampire. Play on. Fay Victus! I am the last pillar, the only survivor of the Circle of Nine. At my whim, the world will be healed or damned. At my whim. Once I embraced my powers, I realized that Vorador was correct. We are gods. Dark gods. And it is our duty to thin the herd. <laughs> In his life, he was unknown, a petty noble. In death, he was unknown. Yet by choosing oblivion, he restored balance to the land. Shades cast no shadows. Suffering to the conquered. Ironic that now I was the one suffering. Not anything as pedestrian as physical pain, rather the cruel jab of impotent anger. The hunger for revenge. I didn't care if I was in heaven or hell. All I wanted was to kill my assassins. Sometimes you get what you wish for. The necromancer Mortanius offered me a chance for vengeance, and like a fool, I jumped at his offer without considering the cost. Nothing is free, not even revenge. <laughs> you will have the blood you hunger for. Napraptor, your madness has shattered our dreams and blinded you. Keep your distance, or I'll send you back to hell, spirit! There is nothing left of me to fear, vampire. I'm only a shadow of my former self, Ari, the balance of the Circle of Nine. Even so, I can provide the answers you seek. I seek only a cure. There is no cure for death, only release. You must destroy the sorcery, the sorcery that is now poisoning Nosgoth. Only then will you realize peace. The Nine of the Protectors of Hope were sworn to use their powers to preserve our world. Now these pillars have been corrupted by a traitor. My murder at the hands of this beast drove my love Napraptor mad. Now he spreads misery and pain among the Circle crumbling the very foundation of Nosgoth. You must restore balance. You must right the pillars of Nosgoth. I care not for the fate of this world. Then for yourself, Cain. Beware the unspoken. A noble man. Seeking wisdom? Death has taught you well. Enough philosophy. I seek answers. Answers, indeed. I have them all if you have the questions. And what are the questions for these answers? King Atmar, the only hope to defeat the legions of the Nemesis. King Atmar. 
paralyzed by his princess's malaise. King Artmar the useless. Pray, good sir, what are the questions? A pox upon your tricks and babble, old man. Answer me this. Who is Malik, and how can I defeat him? All in time, Sirrah. Yes, time. Unless you master it. It will master you. And now it's time for your answer. Malik, defender of the Nine, and last of the Seraphim Sorcerer Priests, his vanity led to the slaughter of the Circle at the hands of the vampire Vorator. For his failing, his spirit was fused to a hellish set of magical armor. He has allowed no member of the Circle to fall since. What of this? Vorador. Follow the glow of the Ignis Fatuous to the Termagant Forest. Ignis Fatuous? The Ignis Fatuous lights the path to hell, nobleman. Your path. Time, Kay? Next time. In the bowels of that black forest, I found something worse than hell. A vision of what I was becoming. It's not often I see one of our own, especially one as young and foolish as yourself. Nonetheless, drink. Drink deep and indulge your gift. Gift? <laughs> Vorador thought my curse a blessing, that we were gods. But mortals offered their blood as sacrifice so that we could enjoy our supernatural powers. And somewhere, deep inside my new self, I knew that he was right. That mortal dreams were prayers. Prayers to us, begging us for power. I pondered this as the decadent old fool prattled on about his past. boorish account of how he defeated Malek of the Seraphim and took his vengeance upon the Circle of Nine for supporting the Seraphim Holy War to exterminate Malek! us. Malek! Dogs! They can feast on your corpses! After slaughtering six of the sheep, I defeated their pathetic little shepherd, Malik. Since then, our kind has not bothered with the cattle, except to feed. And I suggest you do the same. Meddling with the affairs of man can do us no good. Seraphan witch hunts are much too tedious to concern ourselves with. Am I understood, Cain? Good. Take this ring. If you ever need assistance, it will summon you. Despite your youthful arrogance, you amuse me, Kay. It is such a pity to lose you to this. Now be gone. <laughs> 